Welcome to Branson, Missouri, home of endless shows, roller coasters, and hills and hollers. My name is Danny, and I've been to Branson countless times, so today I'm here to share with you 10 of the best things to do while you're here in Branson. And a side note is that it is winter time right now, so the trees and the greenery, not so pretty right now, but in the summer when it's busy and when people plan to come, it's pretty. I live out in the valley, Valley Ridges Creek. I've got the finest neighbor that you'll ever see. A lot of honey pond and flitter tree, I'm really doing well. I'm herding cattle in an air condition, Cadillac Cooperville. Number one, Silver Dollar City. Literally the best amusement park I've ever been to. Yes, better than Disney World, Disneyland Paris, and Six Flags. It has the best roller coasters for both kids and adults, the best atmosphere, and the best food for reasonable theme park prices. So, if you're like me and a fan of coasters, cute and old-timey atmosphere, and the best funnel cakes and frozen lemonade, then Silver Dollar City is a must-stop for you in Branson. Number two, and you can't go to Branson without going to the Branson Landing. The Landing is where you find a perfect mixture of the best shops you could pick out. The landing has changed a lot since I've been here last, and it seems like a lot of stores rotate through, but it looks like a lot of stores are pretty cool right now, so. And I'm here in January, so there's still Christmas stuff up, and they're currently taking it down, so. If you see Christmas stuff, it's because it's January 2022. From clothing to food, shops include Bass Pro, Belt, Pepper Palace, Gourmet Popcorn, a Creamery, Build-A-Bear, Five and Dime General Store, Sports, home goods, even get your nails done there. And food includes a grill, Mexican, Philly steak subs, Paula Deans, a funny pizza place, steakhouse, and even moonshine with a hamburger. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find on the Branson Landing. Plus, if you're done with shopping, you can go bowling, an arcade, an amphicar tour, rent jet boats, and of course, the giant steampunk balloon ride at the front. So when you're sitting in the heat of summer enjoying that ice cream, don't forget to watch those fountain shows too. And you have to stop and look at the water fountain show, along with all these people that live here now, because they put apartments in, but the water fountain show is pretty much worth it. Number three. Take a drive down 76 and just pick out what show you want to watch because there is tons of them. So I will not be going over every show because you will have a lot to choose from. So take your pick. <laughs> so if you don't feel like looking online, a slow drive down 76 will give you nearly all the options right there. Now a fair warning, it's not easy to cruise down. There's not a straight road in the city of Branson. I drove to the Hitting Scenic Overlook just outside of 76 and the roads still don't straighten up. The Hinning Scenic Overlook is pretty pretty if it's not in the winter like when I went. So anyway, be careful with the roads, plus the locals usually avoid 76 at all costs, but if you have a local behind you, expect to be tailgated or passed. Number 4, Attractions. I consider these different than the shows because you have a part in it. The first attraction I'd recommend is Titanic, where you have to stick your hand in cold water for as long as you can, and it's timed. You will also get a ticket of and become one of the real passengers on the Titanic and at the end you see if you survived the disaster. It's mostly a museum but there is some interactive portions. Next is Sight and Sound. It's more than a show. Camels, horses, sheep, goats come down the aisles right next to your seat and the creativity behind the theater is amazing. You won't be disappointed. Also there's Dixie Stampede, now called Dolly Parton Stampede. You can get dinner and a show. You can't beat that. A favorite for many is the Hollywood Wax Museum. There's Ripley's Believe It or Not, Showboat Branson Bell 2, Show and a Dinner Again, but on the lake. Which brings me to number five, lakes. There's plenty of outdoor lake activities in Branson. Behind me is Lake Tanicoma, which touches the Branson Landing, and it is very cold. It's a spring-fed lake, so it is uh, cold. But there's also Table Rock Lake, which is full of fishing tournaments and fishing and fishing and also the chateau on the lake so that's a very cool spot to go to and the drive there has some very scenic views number six wait it's branson so there's more shopping to do head to the tanger outlets for tons of great shopping you gotta go down this big long hill and then you're in like a bowl of shopping outlets it's worth a browse around number seven if you like to golf see pretty buildings or admire amazing landscapes or have basically endless luxurious fun then head on over to Top of the Rock slash Big Cedar Lodge. 
There's golf, nature walk, dogwood canyon. It's a 10,000 acre Ozark paradise. Things you could do include visiting a natural history museum, a guided trail walk, general store, fishing, shooting, rope courses, go-karts, and also there's a cathedral of nature which was found in 2015 when a sinkhole opened up right there in the middle of the place. Number eight, another pretty view and activities for the more budget conscious is Shepherd of the Hills. Zip lining shows an inspiration tower which you can see on the skyline of Branson basically, or at least the drive down. Inspiration Tower is at a height of 230 feet and it's located at the highest point in southwest Missouri. Here's some fun facts. It costs $1.5 million to build. It has 172 constant wind resistance and a 224 mile per hour gust resistance. It weighs 3 million pounds and has 4,400 square feet of glass. It has a glass elevator up to get to the observation deck and on a clear day you can see over 90 miles. Number 9. The Ferris Wheel. Who doesn't want to go on an awesome Ferris Wheel and possibly watch a helicopter take off right next to you? This Branson Ferris Wheel was once an iconic landmark and a part of Chicago's skyline for 20 years. Formerly Chicago's Navy Pier Ferris Wheel, this wheel has been ridden by nearly 17 million people from 1995 to 2015. Standing 150 feet tall, its 40 gondolas hold 240 riders, and it lights up the night with 16,000 LED lights. And finally, number 10. Your choice for this one, above the trees, below the ground, or take a 40 mile ride through those hills and hollers on a train. Zip lines are scattered throughout Branson, so if you're up for skimming the tree lines, zip lines are here. But if heights isn't your thing, go underground to Talking Rocks Cavern. Better yet, if you've never gone on a train ride, now's your chance. The Branson Scenic Railway winds across the Ozarks through tunnels, over bridges, and if you're visiting at Christmas, it becomes the Polar Express. And bonus, you gotta come down to Point Lookout slash Hollister to come visit uh, CMO. Grab some ice cream at the creamery and treats at the bakery and enjoy the beauty of campus. Visit the museum. It's windy out here. <laughs> but you have to stop by Keter Center too at CMO. Buy some student made cakes, butter, fruit spreads, and a whole bunch of other cute things. Also, when you're there, don't forget to look to the west. It's called Point Lookout for a reason. It's a pretty campus and worth the short drive south. And remember, each season in Branson gives a different experience. What I can say for sure, whether enjoying ice cream or hot chocolate, Branson, Missouri is worth a visit. I hope you enjoyed learning the 10 things you should visit when you're in Branson, Missouri. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.